Hello, I'm Tushar, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot the HTTP 403 forbidden error when you connect to your public Amazon API Gateway APIs from within a virtual private cloud or VPC. Let's get started. First, check if you have created a VPC endpoint for the execute-api service within the VPC. Open the AWS Management Console and then navigate to the Amazon VPC console. In the navigation pane, choose Endpoints. Here you can see the list of VPC endpoints in the current AWS region for your AWS account. To view the VPC endpoints for the execute-api service within the VPC, enter the VPC ID. and then enter the service name. The private DNS name of a VPC endpoint follows this format, asterisk.execute-api.region.amazonaws.com. The asterisk is a placeholder for the API ID. This matches the default invoke URL format for both public and private APIs. When you turn on the private DNS for a VPC endpoint, the API's invoke URL is covered by the private DNS name. So when you run a DNS query for a public API from inside the VPC, it resolves to the private IP addresses of elastic network interfaces that are associated with the VPC endpoint instead of the public endpoint. Because the VPC endpoint can only manage private APIs, you get the 403 forbidden error when you route the API call through the VPC endpoint. To resolve this, first confirm that you have an interface VPC endpoint with private DNS turned on for your VPC. Open the Amazon VPC console and then navigate to the VPC endpoint section. Choose the VPC endpoint for the execute-api service within your VPC. In the details section, check whether the private DNS names is turned on. If it says yes, then the private DNS is turned on for your VPC endpoint. You have two options to connect to public APIs from within a VPC that has a VPC endpoint. First, if private DNS is enabled, then you can set up edge optimized or regional custom domain names for the public APIs. Use A records for the regional domains and A or C name records for edge optimized domains. You can invoke private APIs as you normally do. For more information about this option, see link in the video's description. Second, or turn off the private DNS on the VPC endpoints that are in use and then use the public DNS name of the VPC endpoint to access the private APIs. Any clients that are using the private DNS name can no longer connect to the private API. Instead, the clients must use the public DNS name of the VPC endpoint. You can invoke public APIs as you normally do. Let me show you how to turn off the private DNS name settings for an execute-api VPC endpoint. Open the VPC console and then select the VPC endpoint for the execute-api service within your VPC. Choose Actions and then choose Modify Private DNS Name. Deselect Enable Private DNS Names and then choose Save Changes. Then run a curl command to invoke the public API Gateway API. After you turn off the private DNS name setting, you can use the VPC endpoint DNS to access the private REST API gateway API by including the API ID in the xapigw-api-id header. Make sure that your VPC endpoint security groups allow inbound traffic from the Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, Amazon EC2 instance IP address. Also, Make sure the API Gateway resource policy does not deny access from the VPC or VPC endpoint. 
copy the VPC endpoint DNS name and then run a curl command by including the x API GW API ID header to invoke the API Gateway API. You can also use the same VPC endpoint DNS to access the API by including the host header in the command. So now you know how to troubleshoot HTTP 403 forbidden errors when you connect to a public API Gateway APIs from a VPC. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.